So today on this scooter, the M365, we've got intermittent power problems. So what we're gonna do is open it up. I'll talk a little bit about inside of it and, the, and some of the common problems that we have with these scooters. Um, and we'll see if we can fix it. Um, this particular scooter, really quite a nice new scooter. Um, and it sometimes has maybe 30% of the power, 40% of the power and then it just stops for a second, and then it has full power. It's a bit crazy. Um, the code just says that it's something to do with the control board. Um, so we'll just see if there's anything wrong, like maybe there's a dodgy connection or anything like that. Um, so let's get into it. Um, from the last video that I've done uh, about fixing one of these, the most common question I get asked is what screwdriver do you use? So what I'm gonna give you now is, is is gold dust nobody tells you this it's a torx screw so i don't know if you can see that torx screw kind of looks like a star and it's the number 10 one so it's the torx 10 other than otherwise known as the t10 torx bit and and there are i don't know can you see the back bit there yeah so there's just all the way around there like that just take them all out um, and then the bottom just comes off it's just a piece of thin plastic and then we'll do that, get inside, and I'll just give you a, a walk through. So just really quick, whilst I'm going really fast here with my hands, um, I urge you not to skip through the middle part of the video to get to the end, because throughout the middle portion, there are lots of bits of really important information and some good tips as well. Here we go, big reveal. Inside, when I first saw inside one of these, I was impressed because of the quality of the build and the electronics. He's like, it's actually really good, despite the fact that YouTube is filled with videos about how to fix them because they constantly if this video is helping then please give it a like because that means more people can see it and it will help them uh, also click out click on the patreon link below and subscribe if you haven't and then you won't miss more videos because these are good videos like like the the common fix for the other uh, other scooters other scooter was um, just literally unplugging this giving it 10 seconds plugging it back in and that fixed the problem and it actually fixes lots of problems because it just basically resets the controller it takes all the power away and then it gives it power again and it resets it um and apparently on my on this one here that's that might be a fix as well again um so these are really simple scooters so in here this is the 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 main part of the scooter there's a battery pack in here that's charged up with electricity and then that electricity is safeguarded and um, the batteries are sort of protected with a little chipboard here called the battery management system that's just inside the battery pack at the end that's the little thing with the blue flashing light on it and that just makes it so um, it might not um, you don't run the batteries too low or overcharge them something like that um, and it keeps them in balance too so it keeps all of the sales in balance which is important um, and then the power comes from that to a really important board, which is um, not really talked about, but it's super important, is the control board, which basically runs everything. And um, the motor on this is a brushless motor. So one of the main differences with um, uh, brushed and brushless motors is that brushless motors, brushless motors, there are no uh, points of friction. So they're just, just a motor that uses uh, three phases that can go in any order. You can fire them all in any order, and um, that order is determined by the control board. So it has an important job to f just send a signal, kind of like a, a car has um, a firing order for the cylinders. So um, it, it, this is a really important board that for the motor to receive the signal and it be a proper signal and at the right time and on which phase. Um, so it has an important job. It also is the main point uh, of failure on literally every scooter, almost every scooter, probably nine out of 10 scooters. You can go on the internet, replace this board. The, the, the genuine ones might be a little bit more expensive, but you don't, you really don't need to buy a genuine one because that will still break at some point. So you can get, uh, go on AliExpress, look at the reviews and just get one that has a decent, maybe 30, maybe 60, maybe two, 300 reviews and just make sure it's got four or four and a half or five stars. Uh, and you might pay maybe Australian dollars, you might pay 30, 
$40. Not much at all. This is super easy. There are like uh, three bolts holding it in. And um, and that's it. And then you just do a couple of plugs, but that's it. You can do that yourself at home. So um, if you don't have this particular Torx screw bit and you don't know what it looks like, just Google it because it's not common in some people's toolboxes. Um, what I do recommend is if depends what country you live in here in Australia or in the UK we have really good choices you can go to any sort of store that sells all the building equipment like drills and tools and stuff and um, you can buy a little pack like this so that little pack here was just one I, I've had for years that um, was like ten dollars Australian which is about five pound fifty and it's it's good I, I think the material is is it vanadium, vanadium, something, chrome vanadium or something? I don't know. Anyway, it's it's good, decent, and it has a good selection of all the little tools in here for doing exactly these sorts of jobs. So it's really uh, useful for lots of things. Um, what I'll do, I'll I'll take this all to pieces and I'll give it a good look through. Make sure that um, the controller doesn't look like it's got any issues. One thing which I'm particularly curious to know is if this has a single fuse or a double fuse and it's called the Z fuse and uh, basically if your scooter has just lost power and just doesn't have any power and resetting this with the battery cable doesn't work then the first thing to check after that is obviously for any signs of burning or anything anything obvious on the chipboard but a partic in particular a little fuse called the Z fuse Z like the letter Z and you can order them for like three dollars on eBay and um, you can solder it on yourself and that will fix the issue and like it's so, such a common issue that they don't just sell one of those fuses in a pack you can get five in a pack but in later models um, they often have two of those Z fuses so that if one fails the other one will still go which is fine um, but then eventually that one will break too um, so, so far, this is not really the sort of thing you need to take to a repair shop. You can do this yourself. It's super easy. I can already see a couple of capacitors. They're all looking good. The chances are, because this scooter has done about 500 kilometers in a hot city, um, in particular, it's just gone through summer, um, something will have overheated. So there's also a chance that, and this is a very common problem, one of the MOSFETs, if you can't, if you don't know what a MOSFET is, just Google it, M-O-S-F-E-T, MOSFET. It's an abbreviation, it's a type of transistor, and they are really common for getting hot. Uh, now I know in the um, Xiaomi scooters, they don't really give them much to cool down with. They give them a sort of heat sink, and that's it, but they don't put a fan in here or anything. Like, obviously I've got a good stack of fans, like lots of fans laying around, I could just stick some fans in it, that will help the controller and potentially the controller could last years, lots and lots of years, if you just keep it cool and under under control, but of course they don't do that. So let's get into it, I'll take out this controller, I'll take out the battery, we'll have a good look over it. From what I can see already, um, the Bat everything looks fine, the battery looks good and everything, so we'll have a good look through it and uh, we'll reset the controller first before we do anything. So that's what we'll do. Let's just get a multimeter and just check the voltage. So I, you shouldn't do this, but I actually just fully charged this right to the top, just to help it, if I could, just to help it calibrate, um, which is actually pointless because I'm taking it out right now and resetting it so yeah what's the point but I did that anyway so yeah 41 point 42 42 volts so obviously that's good right plug down let's turn it on that already sounds better <laughs> like um in the past there was a double bleep or um, or a, a single bleep followed by no bleep which is error code 10 um, so basically when you turn on the scooter 
um, when you just go boop and you press the button, it will do a series of beeps corresponding to two digits. So the codes are something like uh, one zero or you know some number 10 or 12 or 14 or 24. And so it does an amount of beeps with a pause with another amount of beeps. And that corresponds to the number. So if it goes beep, 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 that's 24. Um, this one particularly had, in particular had um, error code 10, which was the control board saying there was just something wrong with it. Like it's just different to as you'd expect from normal. They don't really explain any further than that. So it might not be broken, might just need recalibrating. So I've turned it off and turned it on. Seems to be fine. So we'll see if it spins. Can you see that? Here you go. Well, it's spinning. It's not going full speed. And then it just jolted. And then did a big jolt. And it's just weird. Very weird. That's just a bit weird. Hmm. It's not looking good. That's not looking good. No. That's full throttle. Still full throttle. Big bang and the wheel stops for a second. And then it goes again. Yeah. And now that's cruise control, apparently. Yeah. So interestingly, there is actually some heatsink paste on the bottom of the box here. So the MOSFETs are here, they, these produce the most heat out of this thing as a controller. They get hot, puts it into this aluminium here, which is then transferred with the help of the uh, thermal paste into the frame itself, which is an interesting thing. Um, so it's important that this gets pushed into the and screw tightly into the board when you put it on into into this bit here. So a few things to mention here. Right, so all of these cables here, they all plug into this board here. You've got these connections here. Uh, these cables are communication cables. Um, and I noticed on this one here, um, yeah, it's got blue, like a blue corrosion, sort of oxidation, blue oxidation, like everywhere around all of the connections. And it's on both the female part and the male part here. Um, so I suspect that could be part of the issue. So we'll take it to pieces and give it a quick clean. Um, hopefully that will be fine. Um, also, I should notice, mention that I'll put it, I'll take a little picture of these and I'll put this on the screen for you. So in case you uh, want to um, just have some spare MOSFETs because these often break individually. And when they do break, it's usually visible, not always. So it was very easy to fix them. Um, and uh, so you can buy these, have a couple spare for your scooter. It doesn't matter if the numbers don't match exactly the ones you have on yours. They're all doing the same job. It will be fine. So you can order some of these, even if it's a bit of a different code on yours. So there we go. So this will conclude, I think, part one. I'll give this a clean plug it back in and uh, we'll see if it works. Part two, we'll do some testing on it, see if it works and uh, if not, further investigate it. Cool, thanks for watching the video. Enjoy uh, the rest of your day and uh, please like and subscribe